Hey y'all, welcome back to Mask Monday. Today we're gonna to talk about one of my favorite movies, Creep Show, and it's my favorite segment from the film, something to tide you over. So let's take a look at Harry and Beth. All right, so as I said before, this is my favorite segment from Creep Show, something to tide you over. Um, this is uh, Ted Danson and Galen Ross at the end of the film. Um, the makeups were originally done by Tom Savini. It was a George Romero film written by Stephen King, but with Romero directing, um, Tom Savini is almost always going to do the makeup. And uh, this is my favorite movie that he ever worked on, and these are my favorite monsters from that movie. We did a Creepshow episode already, but um, A, we just didn't have these ones in stock at the time, but B, I'm happy to kind of just put them together as the pair and do one video about them, because they're just um, like my favorite zombies, I think. But anyways, the masks are really cool. They were sculpted by Justin Mabry. Uh, Savini sent him a bunch of behind the scenes photographs to get the sculpts perfect, and he just did like awesome replications of them. I think he sculpted them at the exact same time and like painted the original master designs. Um, all at once and uh, Tots did these in kind of like a the green kind of seafoam spook show colorway um, which I think was really smart because it's how they appear in the movies with the lighting or the movie with the lighting and everything um, but they were originally done in like kind of a really light uh, gray almost like white um, skin tone kind of look tone but I think that for Tots they did a good job doing like the teal seafoam version because um, again that's how they really look in the movie the hair is really cool because it comes with this like seaweed in it um, and the hair is also really long. I think it's that braid hair that we use for the phantom mask. And then also um, they both have their gunshots with their nasty green blood coming out. Perfect spot like they were in the movie. Um, there's even, I think, yeah, there's like an exit wound on Becky over here. Um, just really cool masks, great sculpts, and um, they did a great job of replicating the mask. All right, y'all, that's going to wrap up this week's Mask Monday. I hope you enjoyed the Harry and Becky masks from Creepshow. Like, share, subscribe, visit us at nightmaretoys.com, and we'll see you next week for another Mask Monday. If you can hold your breath.